The title of this is so fucking dumb. Representative Barbara Lee accuses Trump administration of criminalizing illegal immigrants, which... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, so this is from the Washington Times, yeah, and so I, I came across it on Twitter, I, I think it was, and it was just so dumb, uh, just the, by the title alone, and I thought this was going to be some real entertaining response bait right here, and I thought, oh, goody, response bait, oh, I clicked to read more and do comments, okay, thank you, anyway. Representative Barbara Lee, California Democrat, accused the Trump administration Sunday of criminalizing illegal immigrants. Okay, <laughs> Ill illegally immigrating into the country is already criminalized. And if you do that, you are criminals. Technically, you're criminalizing yourself if you break the law. Yes, that's very you know true. What they, should do? they should make breaking the law illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thunk it? <laughs> oh man, what a, what a dumb bitch. Uh, Miss Lee, who joined a congressional delegation that visited intake and detention facilities Saturday near the border in Texas, described the conditions as tragic. I mean, these people are being criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but laugh every time that I hear somebody say, oh, illegal Criminalization intensifies. Cr criminals are being criminalized. <laughs> How dare they? How dare they accuse these criminals um, for their crimes? Said Miss Lee on CNN's State of the Union. We went into the pro processing center where there are cages, certainly. People think there aren't. There are. We saw these cages. Like actual cages or like jail cells? I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know. They're, they're, not, they're, they're, they're not even jail cells, cells okay? They're, 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 large cell they're large detention centers where oh, these kids are slept or where they're given an education. They have like time off where they can go have a big basketball court. All right. It, uh, yeah, yeah, it sucks that these kids have to be ripped from their parents, okay? And probably they should probably detain the families together. But my God, people comparing these to Holocaust death camps can fuck themselves. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. Here's a funny thing. I, I'm a, I can't, I should, you know, this actually happened. So okay, I'm a, the, when I was having this uh, this argument with the, the those two same girls, they were saying it was like, you realize that they're putting you in cages, right? I said, well, yeah, Obama did the same thing in 2014, but yet you didn't care about it. Um, uh, also, also. I think it's ho I think it's wrong that the, they're putting children in cages, but you realize that they're making it seem like a like a summer school, like a not a summer school, but like a summer esque environment for them, like a I, I don't know the term I'm looking for, but um uh, a term. What, what? You're looking for a term. For a term what? You're looking for you're looking for a term. I was just being I was just being an, an asshat about that, but yeah. Oh okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, and, yeah. And, and, and the funny uh, thing, the funny thing, the the next day, the next day when. Donald Trump signed the executive order, saying that they are not that they cannot be separated. I, I told them we're winning, we win all the time. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was so hysterical. It was anyway, priceless. um, at the detention center, she she said we talked to maybe ten or fifteen mothers. These are jails. These are prisons. These are people who are being criminalized. That's because illegally immigrating is against the law. So you're going to be, you're going to be a criminal if you break the law. I mean, it doesn't even matter if the law is moral or not. Which obviously, I think that invading a country without anybody's permission is immoral, and so therefore should be illegal. But it, it, even if like it was an immoral law, a law that was immorally stripping rights or whatever, it would still be, you know. It would still make you a criminal if you were to break that law. Well, yeah. Like, say, if I was to be a Christian in a uh, country that outright banned believing in Jesus and so on and so forth, I would still be a criminal even if it's uh, neither moral nor immoral to be whatever religion that you want, you know. Sorry to bring up Owen McDonald here, but he said something along the lines of, oh, just because it's the law doesn't mean it's justified. And I'm like, I think the immigration law here is completely justified because here's yeah. the thing. Here's I think the thing. there might be a few things uh, to be um, uh, to be reformed, but I, I cannot yeah. mention specific examples. Well, like maybe I'm going to bring back again. I got to go get another drink. But anyway... Um, so anyway, David Urban, a former senior advisor to the 2016 Trump campaign, countered that the adults have been jailed because they violated U.S. law. 
Yeah, I mean, and that's that's hard that you process this. Um, to address the point that the congresswoman raises, they're in jail because they're criminals, said Mr. Urban. They broke the law by crossing the border illegally, so of course they would be criminalized, or their actions are criminalized already. He added, that's why they're in jail. You come to a facility, you come to one of the ports of entry, you apply for asylum, you do things right, okay? You're not going to break the law. You cross the border illegally, you're going to be in jail. Miss Lee called last week for the United Nations to send observers saying that the Trump administration is committing human rights abuses in our own country. Uh, example, or are you just referring to uh, not allowing people to openly yeah. just immigrate into uh, our Aspie, country Aspie, I- by separating an estimated 2,300 minors from their parents after detaining them? Um, Mr. Trump signed an executive order Wednesday to end the practice of separating illegal immigrant parents from their children at the U.S.-Mexico border, but said the administration's zero-tolerance policy of prosecuting undocumented border crossers would remain in place. Okay, so yeah. But what I have to say in conclusion of this article, a very short article, by the way, Barbara Lee, dumb woman, I mean, with all due respect, uh, ma'am, but you, you're being you're being stupid. But, sorry. <laughs> Dumb bit. Retarded. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to quote Undoomed, you're being a fucking moron. Anyway, <laughs>